Good afternoon, I'm John Schumann with the Toll Brothers Quality Assurance Department. Today I'd like to talk to you for a minute about our house wrap specifications. First and foremost, we specify Kingspan or Pactive Green Guard Max building wrap, as you can see here. All right, there are uh, several different uh, types of fasteners acceptable for use with Green Guard. Uh, first, we have cap nails. Uh, you can also use galvanized roofing nails, uh, a one inch cap staple with a uh, 3 8 inch crown or a one inch crown staple, which we can see has been used by this installer. It should be noted that the cap nails and the one inch cap staple uh, with the three eighths inch crown are not acceptable for use behind vinyl siding. Another one of our green guard requirements is that the house wrap should always be run horizontally. It should never be run vertically or on a diagonal. See here, we have a horizontal seam, proper overlap, and both a horizontal or a vertical seam is six inches. As you can see, we have a full six inches here with inch and seven eighths green guard seam tape applied at the joint. When starting at the base of the wall, the green guard should lap below the framing slightly so that it can be trimmed flush with the wall later. As you'll see here, the installer has given us approximately a two inch overlap, which can be trimmed back as needed once siding or stone is applied. All right, uh, detail for wrapping house wrap into a rough opening for a window. You'll see here that the house wrap installer has wrapped the house into the jam across the inside and has actually stapled it to the inside face of the jam. Uh, what this does for us is it allows us a perfect air seal between the house wrap and the window jam. Had this house wrap been cut back in the opening, it would be much more difficult to get that proper air seal. This is the way we want to have this detail done.